Ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, welcome back to the channel where we are playing, uh, what's it called? Water Womb, I believe, is the name of, of the game. Start. Okay. Though I am a Christian man, I have long forsworn any contentment in its primitive superstitions. The mysticism, the rituals, I know they are all articulations of a deeper, material fact. In older times, it was seen that the order of the scientific world and the perception... Sorry. And the perfection of God's plan confirmed each other at every turn. Well, I still believe this to be the case, although in quite an unorthodox way. My lifelong work has been to find the origin point of man's fall from grace. It has taken me all over the world, but I believe I am closer than ever to finding the truth. I am heading deep into the ocean, into a region they call the Gasper Zone. I have everything I need in my submersive lab. I hope to find some answers soon. Soon I will tread out on the holy seabed, where the spirit blew life into the in create mantle. I have lit my path with the submersible's lights. It is a blessed day. Before I leave, I ought to fill up my tank and grab some nets for specimen collection. Alright. Refill tank, grab some nets. I'm going to need both if I'm going to do my research. Okay. Grab some nets. Ah. I'm looking pretty good. <laughs> Damn right you are. Alright. Uh, head out, I guess? Even with my lights, it is still quite dark out here. Well, as long as they are on, I'm sure I'll be fine. I just have to remember that the entrance into the lab is the furthest spot south. Gotcha. I hope to find good specimens here whether by sifting through the silt or netting some fish. I must remember that the live specimens will try to evade me, but I should not give up hope, as they cannot swim too far away. I must also remember that if I sit alone at one position, it would be a waste to sift there again until later. I should try to find one live sample via my net, and also two samples from sifting. That should be sufficient for now. Time to begin. May God guide me. Um... Oh, I see. I don't find anything. I'll keep looking. Whoa! Oh, I see. I see. Okay. A dive mask, likely an older make by the looks of it. It only has one large window to see from. Might be worth looking at back at the lab. Cool. This is interesting. Didn't find anything. I'll keep looking. Don't find anything. I'll keep looking. This is, a uh, very spooky. Hmm. Hmm, I'm quite low on oxygen. Ah! Yeah! Okay. Should I go back then? Not quite. I am getting dangerously low. All right, that's good. I should find more samples before I begin my studies. Okay. 
Start here? Nothing. I think I'll just go back and forth. Back and forth through the through the stuff. Oh, a post laceration atomite skull. It looks quite old. It may reveal something. I will study it when I get back to the lab. I've been blessed with a bounty to research. It is time to go back to the lab and begin. I can barely contain my excitement. All my life's work has led up to this moment. What, a skull, an old diving mask, and a fish? Even though I have been down here, but briefly, I can feel God working in my heart and opening my mind. The original sin of man, the original temptation, is that God opening the mind too? Am I alone here? But I feel the comfort of the Holy Spirit and a connectedness to all things. The human being was made in the image of God, a divine mirror of creation that was made imperfect by our sin. I could feel it sometimes in the strangest of my body, as if I was once connected to the source and severed from it. It was as if I was once a thing rooted in a vaster hole, but I was violently removed and left to float freely by my own. Well, as I have said, I should get to work. Yes, we should. Get on with the story. Uh, researcher. God, that is difficult to read. Fascinating. This person was extremely close to the source of Genesis, to the birth of all creation. Uh, Adamite skull partially fossilized remains of a son of Adam contains 5% ancestral corruption. By approximate calculations, this human lived for about a millennium and was born 10 generations after the primeval fall. High bone density suggests aquatic lifestyle. Hmm. They live to be very, very old and have just a trace of degeneration. Bone density, yes. One of the pillars of aqua edenic studies is that early man lived underwater. Countless generations have passed since the time and the form of sons of Adam take now is very different. I can only imagine what it looked like to be so pure, so near the state of grace. I'll load up the next sample. Interesting. This mask would prove that I am not the first to explore Gasper's zone. However, this area is entirely remote, meaning whoever was here was here for a purpose. Judging by the crucifixes on the strap, I imagine explorers were sent up here by the church. There are certain divisions in the Papo Conclave who are in the know, but some would prefer to occlude the truth from the world. Were these explorers eliminated by the more traditional factions, and what did they discover? Where are they now? Let's take a look at the next sample. Production date, mid 20th century, rubber skirted dive mask ornamented with various Christograms, biblical inscriptions. Ancient fish. That looks like a regular fish to me. Amazing. This fish may have very well been alive during the time of pre-deluge patriarchs. Uh, carbon dating estimation, 10,000 years. Laser vivisection yielded fish fed on native coral forms, hypercalcified bone structures, tensile strength matching modern materials. This very well may confirm the theory of Gasper's zone being located in or around the Edenic ground. What, the Garden of Eden? But how? Some of the suspension of... But how? Some of suspension of space-time, or some biological deceleration of the aging process. Wait, so this fish is actually that old? It's not just like, oh, it's the, it's the oldest fish because it hasn't evolved much since it spawned. Something like that? I must conduct a more extensive search. Soon, I should go out for more samples.
What was that? A whale? It sounded even bigger. I should go check outside. No, we should leave. Can I check the mirror? Lights are out. Damn, something stirs in me. Oh lord, even in the darkness, I know you are with me. Your word is a light to my feet and a lamp to my path. Guide me. What the fuck are you? Uh, hi. Son of Adam, I beseech thee. Your forebears abandoned the tree of life, and ate of the fruit of knowledge. You walk a contrary path. You will leave this place. Or you will exchange one life for another, die as man, or join God in full flesh. To hear the voice of your God is to return origin word back into the womb where words would fail. No, this is now. I am but his created messenger. This is all I know. I just work here. Oh, God. I beseech thee, I beseech thee, I beseech thee. An angel? An emissary of the Lord. Amazing. Their visage even matches the description in the deciphered Genesis Apocryphon. See such sights, can it be possible? But what did their message mean? Full flesh in God? I can't postpone my search any longer. I'm closer than ever. Ugh. And I will find the truth. First, let's fuel up. Not sponsored. Ah, it's good. Okay. Fueled up and ready to... I must find more samples. My eye is just black now. What the hell? I seen some shit. All right. Time to change it up. I ought to find who two live specimens and one object in the silt. I feel as if I can barely even need this oxygen and in the and water anymore. I'm closer to God than ever. Sure, buddy. I love some Nautica. We ain't finding nothing, bro. Uh-oh, there goes my ox. Oh, shisa. Interesting. This co This coral's color is similar to the red pigment I found on that ancient fish. I should collect it. Hmm, not quite. I don't see any ancient fish quite yet, quite, quite no, no ancient fish, not a single one in my vicinity. Alright, let's go back for a second. Alright, we're good. I keep thinking I'm seeing like shapes in the, in the, in the fog in the oceanic fog the fog of the ocean the fog the underwater fog ah. got him <laughs> okay what the f I don't have a net
He's like staring at me, dude. I think I don't know. I'm not sure what, but, but what I was looking at. It has been interesting swimming down here. The dark and gloom is almost a comfort to me. I am reminded of Moses seeing God in the luminous dark. The undifferentiated infinitude, incomprehensible to the mind. But I believe I could know God, and I will know God. Okay, buddy. It is strange. Perhaps it is just exhaustion from my swimming. But I feel a bit dizzy. Beautiful lightness has entered my mind. The knowledge I have gained over the years seems to fly from me. Just at the moment I am learning the ultimate truth. Well, there's nothing to do but press on. Yeah, that looks a little different from last time, in my opinion. Researching. Deathless fish. Cross analysis with previous fish sample. Fish age exceeds previous estimations, born sometime in Jurassic period. Cellular growth abnormal. Almost completely still, stomach contents reveal more native coral forms. DNA contains proto-human proteins. Proto-human proteins, you say? This fish is even older. Amazing. Almost impossible. There is some common link between this life form and our own. It's part banana? I notice as well, this fish, as well as the others, are lacking eyes. Ah, uh, that explains why I couldn't make out the face. Not unheard of among fish of the deep ocean, but even blind fish can sense the difference between light and darkness. These fish lack that capacity completely. And more of that odd coral in the gut. What does it mean? There must be some thing. All of a sudden I feel... Deathless fish too. Electric boogaloo. Unknown morphology. 50% of sample consists of coral polyp. Age again exceeds multiple geological periods. Secretion of unknown stone substance. DNA contains proto-human proteins. Hell yeah, proto-human proteins. So impossibly old. Proto-human proteins, the ancient of days. That kind of looks like an axolotl now that I'm looking at it, but he looks like a grumpy axolotl. Um, time seems to spiral out in front of me. The divine plan imprinted in all things. How old is it? This fish seems to have been close to the origin of life itself. I'll take a look at the next thing. Red coral. Un unknown origin. What does it mean? Error. Studied with a proto-human neuron. Hyper capable of creating consciousness field. Womb of God. Error. 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 I can barely read this. My own sight seems to be failing. Perhaps decompression sickness. But it seems greater than that. Like the symbols of the world are falling from their place. I feel so... Light? Another angel? Oh lord, I can feel your love. What am I looking at here? Um... Hi? Thank <laughs> you. 
What the fuck? Into the butthole? A game by games. Wow. That's it. That's the game. Holy crap. That was something. I... That was... That was... My... My throat hurts now. Wow. I think... Um... A lot of horror games benefit from... From the... Like old VHS, there's a spider. What was I saying? Uh, horror games benefit from looking old, looking like they're on the PlayStation 1, looking like they're a VHS tape with very low polygon count and, and pixelated blurry textures and uh, all that. Um, I think it plays into fear of the unknown and using our imagination very well. Especially this, because you could hardly tell what the fuck was going on. Um, I thought it was great. Once again, proving that video games are art. Thank you, games. Very cool game. You can find that on itch.io along with this next game. SCP-087. If, if you don't know me, big fan of SCP. Big fan of... I, I think SCP as a concept is just cool. Um, like, uh, the Dharma Initiation from Lost, like Hawkins Lab from Stranger Things, all that. I'm always down for that, where, where it's like... You know, they're researching something, whether it be some sort of Lovecraftian horror, uh, which I think Lost did really well. Still one of my favorite shows of all time. Maybe it did fall off at the end, because they went for a more uh, Christianity, metaphor, symbolism, whatever. But you know what? Still really good, I think, I think with the Darm initiation and the Black Smoke Monster was great for, um, you know, I think it was great, uh, and, you know, that's a lot of what SCP is, is, a uh, is, a uh, foundation, um, where they study anomalies, um, as best they can, you know, they use some anomalies for, for, um, other anomalies, uh, using them to research each other, having them interact, yada yada yada, very cool stuff, whatever, let's get into it, SCP-087. Oh, right off the bat. Playing document 0874. I didn't read that. Um. Exit. No. As far as I know, these are just infinite stairs. 087 is an unlit platform. A light source is required for subjects explore. Lightning sources brighter than cities. Oh, you know what? This is what they were talking about. Uh, G-Sync monitors may cause game to run faster than intended. I think that is what is going on. There we go. That's much better. Document 0874, Exploration 5. No, 4. Sorry. Radio comms muted. Looks like we're in here alone. That's... This feels much better. SCP-087 is an unlit platform staircase located on the campus of... Redacted. 
A light source is required for subjects exploring 087 as there are no lighting fixtures or windows present. Lighting sources brighter than 75 watts have shown to be ineffective, as SCP-087 seems to absorb excess light. The bottom SCP-087, if it exists, has not been discovered. She'll be coming around that mountain when she comes. Um, hello? Mm. Oh, we're on, okay, I see. Bottom left is like how, how low we are, I guess. Or how many, how many levels. And then bottom right is how deep we are. We are 40 meters deep into... 087. Hello? Um... Okay. Each subject reports hearing distress crying and vocalizations from what sounds like a child between the ages of and pop. However, any attempts to descend the staircase have failed to bring subjects closer to the source of the cr crying. Ugh. Not a fan. You can hear the sound of crying beneath you. You can estimate that the source is around six flights down. What, 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 what? What was that? What was that? I saw something. Hello? After SCP 087's discovery, multiple explorations were conducted into the structure. That's so cool. But what did I just see? The furthest depth record was shown to be far beyond both possible structure of something. At this time, it is unknown if SCP-087 has an endpoint. That's so crazy. What? 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 Definitely been more than six flights, let me tell you. Why is that arrow there? Oh. Ooh. I don't like this. Oh, hey, bud. A loose piece of concrete has broken off and fallen down. Stop. Stop. Go out. 
skedaddle. I don't want you here. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> No, thank you, friend. I am. I... Hey, come back. All right, I'm. I'm gonna keep going, I guess. Each subject conducting an exploration has encountered SCP-087-1. Cool. 087-1 appears as a face with no visible pupils, nostrils, or mouth. The nature of 087-1 is entirely unclear, but it has been determined that it is not the source of the crying. Okay? We'll get you. We'll get you one of these times, bud. Almost got him. Almost got him, let me tell you. He was right- he was right at my- at the- There is a hole in the wall. Obviously, I'm gonna look in... Go! Oh. Something knocked you to the ground. The video camera was dropped. You recover. You pick up the camera and continue. I'm gonna look in again. It's too dark to see anything. Mm. Close, but no dice. But I'm coming for you, bud. I'ma get your ass. I'ma get your ass good, you hear me? I'ma catch you on tape like they did with Bigfoot. Why is the ground so dirty? Hell? No, that's a staircase. Uh, we all know it's a highway to hell and a staircase to heaven. Thank you very much. That doesn't... That doesn't make sense. Hey. Alright, man. Listen, you're gonna have to chill out. One of us is gonna have to chill out. I'm panicking a little bit. What the... F Oh, I found his eyes. I'm getting chills. Ooh. Hello. Ow, am I taking damage? What's going on? Pieces of long hair like material are reaching up from the ground. Is that what that is? That makes me feel so much better knowing that it's hair. Of all the things, hair. Due to the results of the final exploration, Exploration 4, no personnel are permitted access to SCP-087. Wow. Why is th Hey, hey, get back here. You belong in someone's head. Um... Hey. Hey, bro, I found your eyes. Um, I can't get them, though. 
only observed in Exploration 4, a strange organic material covers the walls deep within 087. It is possible that 087 is a living structure, absorbing and feeding off of organic material inside of it. Hey, chill out. Shortly after this discovery, the subject dropped the video camera as they were incapacitated by an unknown force. What do you mean? Unknown force? He thinks I stole his eyeballs, so I'm trying to get him back. Oh, that's a lot of blood. Wow, so, you, so you're just constantly there now, huh? Oh, I wanna give me a kiss, tough guy. I'm gonna keep going. Hello? Oh. Oh no. Did we die? Oh. Holy shit. Soon after the camera was dropped, signal contact eventually deteriorated into static due to traveling out of range. My god. Oh hey look, it's back to normal. Over a period of two weeks following exploration of four, several members of the redacted campus reported knocking coming from the interior of SCP-087. The door leading to 087 has been fitted with a six centimeter thick industrial padding. All reports of knocking have ceased. Low signal. It's going. Signal lost. Damn. <laughs> No more signal. SCP-087, thank you for playing. You're welcome. Thanks for making it. Thanks for giving me content. <laughs> Ink Ghost is the creator. I think is what that was. Ink Ghost. The sound design is very important. Please ensure the volume is at a fair... Wait, is it just take me through the... Yeah. Good job! <laughs> Thanks. Um... I guess that means I beat it. Yeah, Ink Ghost. Uh, original story written by Zade. Assuming that's the original, uh, SCP, um, entry. Uh, art programming sounds design made by Ink Ghost. Great job, Ink Ghost. Uh, concept made for the PS1 Horror Jam. Very cool. Made with Game Maker Studio. You can make this in Game Maker? Huh. SCP.com slash SCP-087. Thank you, Celeste. <laughs> what, like the indie game? Or is that a person? I don't know. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, 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 see you later, boners.